Okay, chuckle fucks. So last time you guys decided it was wise to take on combat without knowing the combat you were getting into, and you went into the Illusion Master's domain of the forest. In doing so, you fought a bunch of gas monsters, and afterwards he watched all of you do so. And now you're out of the battle. Congratulations. Prim, you're poisoned. Uh, we're, going to, we're going back to the now. Shall you move yourselves forward? Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm pulling up the out right now. Well, let me unlock your uh, token here, Cora. There you go. As you proceed on, you then see Selvin, who kind of stands, not, just kind of hovers in the middle of the road, and he says to you, So it seems you uh, cleared my area here. It's uh, very nice. However, I'll say you can either head forward, my friend, or you can cross the bridge and go to my brother's side. Yeah, we're gonna cross the bridge. I think that's all. Can I fix my stuff first? Oh yeah, let's go ahead and take a small short rest right here. Let me stop the active water flow. Yeah. All roll me survival checks. Twenty-eight. Let's sit. Twenty-four. Okay, one minute. You pass the required amount to do a short rest. You can do a short rest here. Can we do a long rest with those with that uh with those shots? Your percentage wasn't high enough. What was the third the third percentage? It takes all of your rolls together and adds it into a percentage. You get a sixty seven overall out of all your combined. That's enough for a short rest. You barely passed fifty percent, which is the threshold for a short rest. A long rest needs at least above seventy, well into upper seventy Low bottom eighty. So, so, so impossible for three of us. Got it. Not impossible if you get a crit doubles. So yeah, we would have to have two of us crit, and the other one roll high for it to even be a possibility. Because, say, both of them crit. That's thirty plus twenty six plus me rolling. A 19, 25 plus 33. If Cora critted, it would be a 30 times 2, 60. Combined with your 15, would have been a 75. Would have then been plus 18. Hmm? Then no, it was crit. No, I'm saying if they would have crit, because you both got an 18 plus 10. 3020. I'm saying if they critted, you would have gotten into it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's cool. Don't get shit back. Yay. Can all try and re roll if you want. No point. Okay. I'll have a coordinate. Do I need to roll to fix my seat? Yes. Um. Well, it's did did we say we needed to roll for that, or you just fix it? I'm not sure that we ever actually specify, but I think I was rolling. 
sleight of hand for me. With advantage. So, uh, if it's a thinker's tool check and you're proficient with thinker's tools, you know, you'll add your proficiency bonus as well. Yeah, I still have no idea where to find that. Your proficiency bonus is at the top of your character sheet. Essentially, it's a proficient dex check. Eight. Did you roll it with advantage? No. You need to roll it with advantage, plus four. Nine. Wait, 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 are you proficient with your school? Give me a second to find it. Yeah. Because if you are, then add four more to both those rolls. Unless your dex is... Your range range. Yeah, your dex is plus four. So, it'll be a 13 and a 14. Yeah, that. So, you got a 13? Well, you said Adding your proficiency. No, they no, they no, rolled no. with advantage. They rolled twice. They took the higher number. Yeah, you're, you're right. Nine. I, I was doing math wrong. Thirteen. Um. You managed to patch the hole up, but you lose two more quarts of water. Also, noted. How many gallons do you lose per every couple hours? What is it? I know we had a note for that in DMs. I don't think we actually set a rate for. Uh, Pretty sure I did. How fast the water. Out. Uh, yeah, it'll, uh, wait, you, your wait. suit will only last for five hours. Uh, along with this, each time your suit is ripped, you lose one unit of water from the suit. Your suit will last five hours and will need to be refilled every five hours or sooner. But that's, that is the full. Yeah, so you have, uh, out of the 35 units, Per se that we're going to use just units out of 35 units of water you lost two more ranking out of 33 and last for five hours how long are you taking the short rest for okay an hour so that means you're using eight units an hour simple math it's out of 40 so now you're down to 25 out of 40. Not if I go swim in that lake over there. Just go relax underneath the water during the short rest. Well, that's the issue. Um, What lake where? This one here? That's not a lake, hun. That's land right there. <laughs> That's grass. That's not how that looks from here, but, you know, I was also, like, hyper-zoomed in with split screen, so. All that is grass and forest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never mind. So you come out of your short rest... Tomas is already going. <laughs> Come out of the short rest and Selvin says, Okay, where do you wish to go? Uh, oh, okay. 
Not gonna even yeah, talk to him. I figured we were gonna go put back puzzles. I I'm not affected in combat anymore. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm not affected in combat anymore. Um, but that last fight was so much fun. Maybe next time you'll listen when I say puzzles over fights. Let's go. Well, we'll you know, freeze we'll, the wool in the dumb suit. We'll follow Samas. He's learned his lesson. Damn, lucky I ain't freezing the water in the dumb suit. You gonna make an axe model yeah. popsicle? Do not make me shoot your eyes out. Keep the heating it. You, you couldn't if you wanted to treat all- I have but, a bow and daggers and I know how to use them both very well. And I have many more things in my arsenal that I haven't even attempted to, attempted to squander out for you. I have a bone sleep. You're not the Ribbit. only one with secrets. Hun, all it would take with you is a simple slice. And slowly but surely, you start drying out. Okay. So as you make your way over to... Porco. He says, Ah, welcome, my friends. It's so good to finally have you back. <laughs> so, tell me, have you got enough of combat now? Need a few brain ticklers? <laughs> yeah, a few puzzles yeah. sounds pretty nice. <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> that water, full water looks absolutely wonderful. Oh, you mean this water? Sure, go ahead, take a dip. Not if you bring me towards it, I don't necessarily know that I want to. Where then I trust it. Well then, you've heard of a man that can walk over water, correct? I'm sure you have, because these waters are infested with knives! And as he says that, you see there are knives that are swimming in the water like fish. Like, really glad? Like, <laughs> like actual knives? Yeah, like actual, like, knives. Some are like combat <laughs> knives, and others are just like butter knives. Really glad I uh, trusted my gut instinct there. Yeah, that is concerning. You have to find a way across this river here, this little body of water. You could, and I'll give you a little hint. It's something that you could do. It's real lucky for the DM that I don't have that walking on water spell. <laughs> can, can we not just hop across right here? Oh, you most certainly could hop across right here. One minute I wanted the circle. You could very easily, but I wouldn't recommend it. Every little bit of rock has a 100% chance to explode. You bombed the rocks, oh yes! no! Yes! I put bombs in the rocks! I put bombs in pigs! Rocks on an easy feat. I'm gonna go up to the edge of the water. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll wait till you finish putting down these big-ass circles first. It's just labeling what areas, like, are rocks that are, you know. Now, 
It seems that you need some help. So I'll throw you a bone! He literally throws you a bone. I'll catch it. It's covered in Mothman meat. Cool. Uh, I I'll... wish I knew what that meant. And if nobody takes it, I'm just going to toss it on the ground. And then I'm going to walk over to the edge of the water here. Okay. And I am just going to go for the next hour, two hours, three hours, however long it takes. I am going to 100% non-stop cast Cantrip Ray of Frost on this water. I'm going to freeze the entire fucking lake. It's a cantrip. I can cast it as much as I want. I have frostbite, so I could probably help. You fucking bring it over here. It's a cantrip. Fucking just freeze the whole lake. I don't. I don't know that that's how. Uh. uh okay. So ray of frost will freeze anything in the ray, technically. Um, because water doesn't move, you're technically freezing like parts of it. It's like you're making just the way that I view flavor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm getting hold on, hold on. Alright. Hold on. Hold on there, sport. Jesus you're, Christ. You're making like ice cubes in a lake. So you can freeze it with it and frostbite as well. I'm just calculating how long it would take. It's a cantrip. I can literally do this all day until I have to sleep. But if the water is melting faster than you can freeze it? Why well, we have two people. The other thing is... I'm a rogue. Okay. Yeah. About the system. I mean, Rain do we really road. have to freeze the whole lake? Couldn't we just freeze our way across it? We can do that too. We can just freeze a pathway. I think I should else. There is a limit. Good cantrips? Uh, technically 16 hours a day is your maximum. Well, yeah, because you gotta technically have to sleep for 8 hours, yeah. So 16 hours, or you can get longer and, like, sleep for 8 hours after. Calculation, here we go. Wait, how far across is this lake? Looks to be about 30-ish feet. 30-ish feet across. <laughs> with constant knives moving through it that cut things. Uh, well, it's this wonderful thing that I have hidden the paths. I can teleport up to 60 feet. Well, that makes me one of us. Uh... Or I can use my action to teleport one willing creature up to 30 feet. That would be helpful, yeah. And I have three uses. We could well, all go stand on the edge of the uh, water on the bank and where the door line is closest. That way the distance is even shorter, too. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. It will take you ten hours approximate. To freeze a pathway across? Uh, yeah, to be able to freeze a stable enough walking pathway across that won't let you slip in. And what about her plan, where potentially just teleporting us across? 
I mean, yeah, you could do that too. Brim. It's up but to your you party. Just, would you rather I just teleport you guys? It would be it faster, would... but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. these are your spells. Your mana. Yeah, it would be less time consuming, but it is your technique. I'm not sure how it goes about. Uh, I'm sure it's gotta be gotta take a toll on you. So, I'm sure you can only do it a maximum yeah. of what three times yeah. a day. If if I do all of us, I won't be able to use it anymore. But I can teleport all of us there. I mean, it would save quite a decent bit of time. Okay. And I believe the sooner we get out of here, the sooner we can lay down for a rest. I know that my mana is getting extremely low. Alright, I'll use two of my hidden paths to teleport my friends over. And then I'll use the third one for myself. To get myself over. <laughs> Okay. As you do so, you teleport across and just flies across. Excellent! How wonderful! I'll let you pass on by for free! Woohoo! It's a lot of static. So, as you come to the impasse, he says, Well, this is where we cut our little game short. However, thank you for putting up and partaking with my puzzles. But I will inform you that you have two options. You see, the city ahead of you has a bit of an impasse between this mountain. You can go to the left or you can go to the right. And you, you guys can see on the horizon that on the left side, there is currently an ice storm slash twister freezing over the town. And on the right side, there is currently lava snakes destroying the town with fire. So we have to pick one of those two to go take. I vote left. The fucking ice twister? Yeah. Yeah, let's try to deal with a natural phenomena versus, like, the, you know, lava snake that... Well, I mean, you know, cold. I'll be fine. Oh, God. So, it's been a cold air. never hurt oh. anybody. Fine, fucking left it is. Oh, but I must warn you. Your decision will be final, as there are some final things to get through, I'd say. You see, you either have to fight me, or whatever my brother has prepared for the left. So we have to fight one of the two. Oh, my brother's not most of a combat type, but I do believe he has a few of his petsies around that he enjoys. But you shall take on the great pork or tuple, if you so choose. <laughs> I've already said my piece, but, you know. Well, just we're going to this point with those window that whatever, whatever, uh, brother boy over there is gonna fucking choose. Unless you have a different, different desire for him. I don't know. Last time we went over to the other guy's side, he was pretty aggro about it. Agreed. Like, he was not happy when we went over to his side, so... You see his brother okay. fly down, fly down, and he says, Bro, um, I don't know if you should fight them. Maybe, maybe let me fight them. Oh. oh, dear brother, don't worry. I can fully take them on. For I am a master of puzzles, however, I'm a master of battle tacticians as well. 
Bro, come on. Oh. I mean, you've had quite the long day. Wanna, wanna take a rest? Go hunt on a Mothman. Cook some bacon. I'll, uh, I'll roast these living mortals, and you can go on your... And you can, uh, prepare us a wonderful feast like you did last time. Hmm. Or you could just let us walk through without a problem. <laughs> well, I cannot go down on my pride as well as I'm a bit forced to, you see. And he oh, says, and Selvin says, we're creatures of the night. At our core, we have to impede you somehow. And You've already impeded us fucking plenty. Are you kidding me? Those oh. bubbles nearly killed us. Even gas creatures damn near killed us. I don't think you understand. Our whole living existence thrives on suffering. And the more we get to make you suffer, the longer we get to live. Think of it this way. I'm constantly suffering because I'm in... I'm on land in a water suit. So, you know, that's enough suffering, right? He... You see Selvin crack a very creepy smile as you see it actively, like, crunch and force away the exoskeleton as he smiles quite large. I don't think you understand, but that's hilarious nonetheless. Did you say something, brother? And you see his smile go back to his normal face as it crunches, snapping back into place. Oh, nothing, but I can take care of these mortals. <laughs> I often haven't gotten any, and I have plenty of energy. You've done all the puzzle work today. Take a break. The great king of puzzles needs his rest. Well, if you say so, brother. Very well. For my brother will take care of you. However, I must warn you, he's quite the powerhouse. Ha 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 ha. He shows a brotherly love. <laughs> he flies off into the forest. Well, I guess that solves that issue. I guess so. Yep. Onward and forward, I guess? So, what are you going to choose? Right or left? Listen, all I'm saying... Up. All I'm saying is that, you know, I... I stand a little bit of chance with, with the cold, um... But fire snakes and that guy, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, our s me and Samas, our spells seem to be more geared towards ice attacks, right? Because we we have ice exactly. powers. I mean, I have I have cantrips. I have a couple. I have a cantrip that does ice damage. Like I'm not necessarily geared toward ice. I'm geared toward not being hit and damaging shit. But right now, I. Like, a combat is not good for me right now. Oh, well, you're gonna have a problem then. <laughs> I mean, like, I have then, two ice spells have like, and one fire. I have no spell slots above level two. Dude, my apologies. I have no spell slots above level two right now. Oh, no. Yep. You've so. really been using up those spells, boy. <laughs> We had a combat last session, and then I don't get shit back on a short one. Oh, be fair, I didn't really get anything back on a short rest either. Like, I didn't even get fucking health back. Because I lost any health. Alright, uh, so Cora wants to do the twister, so I guess we can do the twister.
Is that your final decision? Yep. You see him begin to chuckle a little bit. <laughs> oh, I, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, that's rich. I'd love a good, wonderful fight. However, I don't show this in front of my brother, and I'm glad he's not around. Oh no, he's aggro. You see him begin to morph as he literally rips and tears off his metal, like, skeleton, like the exosuit that he has on as a bug, and you see that he's not even a bug. As he stakes a step back, he pushes forward, and a dead, rotting corpse of an insectoid falls to the ground. Of Selvin. Creepy. Oh, this is weird. Is he naked? Yes. <laughs> Did he just get naked in front of us? What you see, so. what you see in front of you, is instead. A white body with horns, eyes going from the top all the way to the bottom, and eyes covering up all of his wings as he spreads out his wings fully. I will show you a picture of this creature. Yes. Ah, so that's what the pick is. That's creepy as shit. One minute. Just letting you know, Cactus. While this is happening, I'm spending a third level spell slot to get um, three sorcery points back, and then spending six points to get a fourth level spell slot back. Okay. Oh, he is naked. Oh no. You see that his entire being holds up thousands and thousands of eyes as they all intercede from the dimensions of illusions and life being that connected of the infernal realm his wings are pure infernal and as you stare down at him the thousands of creatures he's killed he says to you for i was never his brother merely he is a creature that i have created and have been waiting to feast upon. Thank you for giving him such great suffering and carnage. I've loved every minute of it. And now I can dissect and eat him like a wonderful snack. Also spending like a four hours with him. Oh, this is layers of deception. I don't like it. He flies up to the top over here. I have a wonderful surprise for you. Oh, I don't like surprises. What the fuck is that? Meet my beautiful bed. That is a forest demon. You see a gargantuan figure that is about 30 feet tall, carrying on its back, no, more than 30 feet, It'd be like 40, 45-ish feet, 45-ish feet tall, carrying on its back houses and all kinds of multiple villages infused with it an entire forest and as this happens you see that multiple thousands of trees from everything below literally the whole area of here down all of that forest begins to crumble as large roots fuse into the ground, growing this figure larger until he grows to 60 feet tall, infusing an entire forest, castle, and geometry of lake and water with him. Are you guys concerned too? 
just a little bit. God, what are we gonna do? I don't know. Uh, you made okay. your choice. I don't. Uh, uh, we can do this, guys. He then erects a force wall right here. We can do this. All these puzzles have prepared us for this. <laughs> Puzzles! I never got to see any of them! We have dodged so many bombs, it's okay. So, would you consider Big Boy a fiend, or...? He is a... He is a fiend, yes. Dope. An ancient one, but yes, he's a fiend. Anybody wants to roll a history check, I can tell you a bit of lore. Uh, oh. I have advantage on wisdom and checks to recall information about fiends. Did I say wisdom? I meant intelligence. I can try. Oh, even though I'm a fucking fiend myself. Oh, I Oh, my brain fucking had a... Okay, what, what did you say? She rolled a 16 on his history. Okay. So, here's what you know. Forest demons. Forest demons are fiends that infuse themselves into a forest, often being titans of the infernal realm that get leaked out of a person making an improper gate, as their souls are a bit too big to just be summoned forth. They usually kill the user if they try to summon them. <laughs> You gotta find a core, and like any golem, you put the soul inside the core, and it basically becomes a giant forest golem infused with infernal demon power, and it lays dormant into a forest. If summoned by its master when its master is in danger, or chooses to be in danger, the forest demon will erect itself from the forest that it is living in and will use the entire forest as long as it has roots to spread to it. So you basically got to plant it in a forest, wait like 20 years or something, and then it'll slowly spread out like vines and then, you know. So yeah, are you going to attempt to fight it? We don't have much of a fucking choice. Do we? Like, the only other path that path is blocked off by if you spend all the time. Can we do 
Do you want to start initiative? Can I cast Hunter's Mark on the Forest Fiend? Sure. You need a preemptive strike. It's not moving. Speaking of it not moving, it looks uncannily rigid. I don't know that I like that. Should I shoot it? Uh, before we do that, bio break. Unpause. So, you're in front of the boss. You did Hunter's Mark on it. Anyone else want to do a preemptive of straight? He's being pretty gracious with you. I only have any. Like, I got, I got other plans, but... Nothing is exactly all that I would like to do. I think I'm... Because I got quiet. something, but I don't think it works. Hey, guys! Yes? Can I shoot him? Um, I, I don't know. Roll me initiative. Yeah, I'm about to say that'll be the opening salvo. Initiative. Not 20, baby! Okay, let's see who's with the initiative counter. Hey, uh, hey, uh, Jojo, could you either turn your fan off or mute yourself? The the background noise is starting to get to me a little bit. My fan isn't even on anymore, so. Oh. I'm not sure what that was then. Is it maybe in my headphones in general? It might have been straight just straight in your headphones, I'm not sure. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah. Is it better? So far, yeah. Okay, it might just be my headphones. Okay, so I have it posted and You should be up first, Cora. What do you do? Cool. I'm gonna shoot the thing I have uh, my hunter's mark on. There's a 19 hit. Nineteen just hits. That's seven damage for the Need you to roll me a wisdom save. 
Sorry, not a wisdom intelligence save. <clears throat> Seventeen. Seven. Okay. <clears throat> you notice something is off. You notice something is instantly off as your arrow sinks into it, but you didn't hear any noise. Like you heard the knocking of your arrow and it goes and normally you hear like a or like a sound of like a plunging into flesh or hitting armor or something. You hear nothing, it just goes and sinks in. Do I still need to roll hunter's mark? You can. <coughs> That's a whopping three damage. Hey guys, uh, I don't know if you saw that, but I didn't really do anything. Um, oh. like not even a flinch or a squeal or any any. And then, I guess I'm going. To aim, I think I'm going to aim for the guy that is to his. That's like to the bottom right of him, closest to us. And hit that guy with my long Gotcha, gotcha. While you're doing that, I'm trying to fish a sweatshirt out of a room area with my fucking cane, but it's not working. I don't think 11 hits, though, does it? 11 hits? Well, again, well, no, 11 doesn't hit, but still roll me an intelligence save. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> 17 again. May the dice gods be blessing me, right? Again, even though you didn't hit, your arrow still sinks into it. But you don't hear sound. You don't hear any tanking of armor. You don't hear any chipping of rock. Nothing. That's the end of my... Did anyone say anything? I'm also going to relay that that also made zero sound if they didn't hear from them. Mm -hmm. Some, something's not right, guys. Um, at all. Visually, it looks off as well. Like, you saw the arrow sink into it. Not, like, stab into it. Like, it went in cleanly. Like, it's almost gliding through water. Hey guys, is there any way that this is just a, just a mirage or illusion or something? Hmm. Maybe if we get close enough, we can investigate it. Nosy's not. You all cut out, what did you say? I said nosies. 
Well, Prim, it's your turn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try and get closer because this is weird. Point five, uh, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Uh, how far away is this guy for me? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, about 40 feet. 20. What about the smoker? Smoker is about 35 feet away from you. I, I can't thorn with them closer because that's 30 feet. Mm. I'm pretty sure I used up all my movement too. What are you going to do? Uh, uh, is there any way I can get closer? Did you use all your movement? I believe so. Dash. 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 You could dash, but then you only have a bonus action. Yeah, I'll dash the rest of the way there. Go right here, I guess. Okay. And would I be able to, like, investigate this smoker since I'm closer to it? Sure. What'd you get? Uh, I got a 12. I don't know why it's not showing up on the log thing. Okay, so... This smoker looks very much... Like, what are you trying to investigate for? Whether or what? Whether it looks off, or if it actually looks... Dangerous, or... Oh no, it looks dangerous! It looks like the ones you fought before! Very, very much so. Or if it seems like an actual being, I guess. It does. It twirls its pike around and okay. swings it at you. You can feel cool. the wind brush off the pike. Kind of gust closer to you. Okay. There's definitely something weird about these guys. I just don't know what. Bonesley tosses a sacred flame at the... Uh, a forest demon fails the deck save, and upon doing so, he uh, it just kind of sinks into him. Yeah, there's clearly something off about these guys, but what? But I guess that's my turn. the demon's turn. So, you see the demon kind of raise a hand up as it's going to send a earth whip towards you, Korra. Roll me a deck save. Oh dear. Thank God you're a rogue, right? Mm. 
You said deck. Yes, deck save. Okay. Now roll me an int save. Oh, right. As you see the root yeah, come, you see a giant root. You see it, and you got a nat 20? Yeah. Okay. On the intelligence save? Yeah. So, Cora, you see that root come up, right? And it, like, goes past your face, and Samas, it looks, it just looks fucking huge and gnarly, and it goes fast right in between you as you see the wind rush past. Cora, you, however, see... You see it fizzle for a moment as if it like flickers like a television almost. And you see a hand inside the root that looks white as then the root slicks back into the ground. Almost as if the root wasn't real. Noted. I'm going to relay all of that information to everybody else. Samas and Prim make me an intelligence save. Uh, I choose not. Twenty-one. So, I almost said all Ferris. You're not. You're not. No, you're not all Ferris. Sorry, Samas. I'm getting my campaigns mixed up. So, Samas, you see for a brief moment that this forest demon is made up with a lot of fucking magic. Like, normally, you know, like fiends are magical beings, but like, there's not enough flesh on him. There's just a high density of magic, almost like a constituted spell. But it's just, it's just weird. You would normally see that from a fiend when it's being summoned and stuff, but it's not being summoned. It's just standing there. Menacingly. <laughs> Prim, what was your save? Uh, 13. You don't see shit. <laughs> Oh, okay. It looks real as fuck to you. You even hear it grunt and breathe. Fair enough. It is now... the gas guard's turn. So you see the smokers begin to circle around it as they begin to generate a fog. Similar to the fog that you saw before. And they generate it around the area right here. They're each going to throw out four gas balls into the area. One, two, three. Boss, bad beyond. He do not. He does not feel like fighting the little gas box again. Okay, that ends their turn. It's now your turn, Samas. We able to see inside of that gas cloud? You can see inside the gas cloud. It just makes things a little bit Quite more enough. distorted. Range spells, of course, you know, got a negative one to them. I, I just want to first roll an Arcana check on this 
giant forest demon, something fairly off about it, and it's got a heavy concentration of magic. I'm trying to figure out what the hell it is. Okay, what's your arcana roll? Well, I'm going to spend a sorcery point to give me advantage on it. So it's a plus six. Well, you know what? Fuck you, game. Twelve is the roll. Demon is big. So, real quick, you do realize twelve is slightly above average intelligence, not retard. Demon is big life. with lots of magic. The same thing that you got before is that it's filled with lots of magic. Um, you don't know where the magic it's coming. Just... You don't know where it's coming from, though. Do I say fuck it? Do I not? Say fuck it. Oh, you don't want me to say fuck it. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna shoot a fireball toward its, toward its feet. Or a firebolt toward its feet. Okay. Let me just make sure Firebolt has that kind of range. Pretty sure it does. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does. Alright. So, D20 plus 9 to hit. Dirty, dirty 20 to hit. At its feet. I specifically mentioned the at toward its, toward its base. You want to put it and at its feet? Dirt. I am I am specifically shooting this firebolt toward its face. Okay, face. So, what was your roll? No, face. Face. B yes, as in boy. face. Face. No. I heard you. What? No. <laughs> base. Okay, so like it's feet. Base. Okay, you should have said feet instead. Because mm. I'm not necessarily... Okay, base. Base. Is a dirty 20 hit. Dirty 20 minus 1, 19, yeah, that hits. Uh, that'll be 10 points of fire damage. Intelligence save, please. Ten. You see it slip Bring into it the fog and hit the bottom where its feet would be at its base. Nothing happens, but you definitely feel all of its magic sort of kind of like pull to the ground. Whenever it's controlling the forest demon is at its feet, shoot the uh, bonus action. I'm going to spend my last three sorcery points. And I'm gonna summon my Hound of Hell, Hound of Ill Omen. Uh, you see Samas double over and uh, vomit up this black bile uh, that slowly forms into the shape of a uh, medium-sized dire wolf. A uh, dire wolf already rolled a 16 on its initiative, so it goes directly after me. Um, and its target is the hunter, uh, is the forest demon, and it's summoned right. It's summoned 30 feet from me. So right about there-ish. Yep, right there. On its turn, it's going to use its 50 feet of movement to charge the demon and bite at it. As it charges in, it's going to go. You're, it's going to go through here, correct? No. Uh, one of the smokers is going to use a reaction. It's going to try to, like, spew some gas at it. Does a 9 hit? No. Okay. So it bites the foot. And you see... 
Huh? You need 24 to hit. 24 hits. I need you to roll me an int save, Samas. For the thing? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, it's gonna fail. No, for you. Oh, for me? Why for me? I'm not attacking it. You're the one that summoned it. Makes no sense, but okay. Fifteen. Either you way. see it bite the foot, and its head goes through the foot. Fucking Jesus Christ! What? That's it for me. What? Can't fucking hit the damn thing! You see its head go through the foot. And when you see that, its whole body flickers for about a second. My apologies, might have jumped the gun with my uh, mental shit. Sorry. You're fine. Uh, do I need to roll damage? You can if you want. It definitely seems like these things are kind of fake in some way. I have a plan for my next turn, though. Points of uh, piercing damage. I'm not sure it's everything with it. As you uh, do so, target is, what's must up? Succeed on a DC 13 strength save or be knocked. Forty-five. Okay, so mythic level stats, got it. But it's, that's moving for Samas and his pound of death. It is now Korra's turn, because it's the beginning of the turn these grow. Wow, I'm really in between a rock and a hard place right now. <laughs> Cora, what you want to do? Am I able to go up to where his brother originally landed when he summoned the You could, devil's... but I need you to do an acrobatics check to climb up that mountainside. Okay, I will. Absolutely. Oh. So you run over, you get here, and you try to jump up, and you slide down. I will work with what I've got. I want to move my hunter's mark with my bonus action over to the uh, awakened tuple. Can you do that without hitting him? Is a bonus action to move it on subsequent turns. Although I don't know if I... Let me double check the wording, because I may not be able to until that one is dead. You're being dead. Uh, and it moves the bonus action. You don't, have to pri you don't have to have priorly hit the target or anything. It just has to be a target you can do. She can technically move it on to one of us you really fucking wanted to. You cut out. For the... <laughs> I said, uh, like it. It's just a bonus action to move it. You don't have to have killed the creature. It's already on. I'm at least I'm like eighty, ninety percent sure on that last bit. One second. Uh, yep. It doesn't matter. Oh wait, never mind. It, yeah, you do. If the target if drops to zero, the target drops to zero. No, nope, never mind. So, you move it, or you try to move it, and it moves instantly. Alright, so the forest demon isn't an actual creature. That, that okay, guarantees, so... It guarantees it. 
that being said, I hope this works because my goal was to get up on the hill, but I can't get up there. So I'm just gonna shoot at him from where I'm standing and see if he goes through the force. Wall of force? I don't think it's gonna go through the wall of force, my friends. Wall of force, it will not go through any and all attacks. Whoa, one second. I'm absolutely useless in this instance because I don't have anything it else to do and use. shooting at big guys seems useless. You can try and dash up Nothing. the mountain again. Nothing can physically pass through the wall. It is immune to all damage and cannot be dispelled by dispel magic. A disintegrate spell will destroy the wall instantly, however. So. Okay, I'm gonna try and uh, go up the wall. Gonna dash up the mountain? Roll me another acrobatics. I'll you a rogue and not push you uh, <laughs> No. <laughs> that's uh that, that that's that's a straight no. Next turn maybe. Also Samas, don't forget about your crossbow. Guess what that's I have my turn. Like huh? that crossbow is nice, but I'll probably never use it. Is that end your turn, Cora? Yeah. Prim, it's now your turn. Okay. Uh. So. Okay. Can I. From watching Cora, can I deduce that she was trying to get around the. the shield thing? Yeah. Well, you can do. She's trying to climb right. the mountain. Okay, so I'm gonna use one of my wild shapes, and I'm gonna turn into a bird. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna take me and Bonesley, and I'm gonna fly over here. Okay. Bonesley. And then I'm gonna. Oh, go ahead. And then I'm gonna turn back. Okay. Bonesley is going to. Use a sacred flame. Awaken Tuple fails, and he takes some damage, and as soon as he takes some damage... Pop. Uh -huh. I know! It was all an illusion! Everything fades as his concentration was broken. You little faker! And so does. Yeah. Uh, find that picture again. There he is. And so does the uh, mask and such and all of that as the illusions fade away. My hound also disappears because its target, its target disappeared. He says, well, that was a little anticlimactic. Let's get three fucking sorcery points. I'm gonna spend um, two second level spell slots and gain back four. Anyway, uh, I've had my fill. I've caused you enough suffering and chaos. I thank you. My brother will be quite pleased with the meal. And then you see him appear. Oh, it was quite the wonderful show. Amazing that you convinced them that I wasn't your brother. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Anyway, I'll let you go wherever you want. I don't give a fuck. 
about some place to sleep for a little while. He uh, throws you a stick. Catch the stick. That's an incense stick. Burn it in a campfire and monsters won't come after you for at least 16 hours. Wow. Ooh. Thank you much for Thank you much, couple. May just kind of walk off. Sumas gonna walk forward. You going to the right? Or no, we're going to the left. It's right. We're we're a little confused after all this illusion business. <laughs> What's right? What's left? What's the world? Why did my life? Why why did my wife leave me? Where's the kids? <laughs> Are you guys gonna take Thank a long goodness. rest before you go anywhere further? Yes, yes I mean, you probably should. Uh, set up camp and I'm gonna toss that I'm gonna burn that in and stick into the fire okay you make a Thank small fire light. right here As you make that small fire, you now can burn the incense stick, and as you do so, you see that around you, any monsters that would be coming any closer do not. And it burns a uh, very putrid smell of sulfur in the air. Well, that's not the most pleasant, but it gets the job done. Yep. <sighs> so what are we doing? A long rest, or...? Oh yeah, full long rest. Full eight hours. <laughs> And as you do a long rest, we are going to end session here.